All right, so today we're working inside the mobile app for CapCut, showing you how to achieve that blurry background look regardless of what type of video footage you've shot with your smartphone. With this blur effect, I can easily blur out the background behind any product video shots I'm capturing. I can simply blur the background behind my talking head videos. You can even apply the blur effect to the video background of moving objects. And so regardless of what type of background you're trying to blur, the process is the same. So let's jump into it. So right here on the main screen, let's click on new project. And we'll select this clip to import it into our timeline. So with this video clip right here in our timeline, the first thing to do is go ahead and select the clip and then scroll down on the menu bar down here over to copy. And then with that clip selected, we want to scroll down on the bottom here again and click on this button for overlay. Now we're going to leave that alone for now and go back to the beginning of this clip right here and click back down to the main menu on the bottom and scroll over to effects and then click on video effects. And then up here in the tabs, we want to scroll over to lens and scroll down and click on blur. And then let's click the check mark. And now we want to take this blur effect that we just added and extend it all the way through the length of this main clip. And this will serve as our blurred background. We'll click down here in the corner to exit back to the main menu and then click on this overlay button right here and that will reveal this extra layer that we had created. So now simply click and drag this clip all the way back to the beginning so it syncs up with the original. Now go ahead and reselect that overlay clip and then scroll down here on the bottom menu bar and we're gonna click on this button for cutout. Now if you've used this effect before and by chance used the remove background button right here, you may have experienced wishy-washy results. That's because this is merely a templated effect that doesn't necessarily apply to all types of video footage. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. We can go a little deeper and use the customized cutout. So right here on the customized cutout menu, we have a button for quick brush, a button for brush and for wipe. And so what I'm going to show you right here is how to manually go in here and brush yourself out of the scene and thus removing yourself from the background. So let's click on brush and depending on exactly what you're trying to brush out will depend on how big you want your brush size. So since we're cutting myself out right here, looking at the camera, I'm gonna increase the brush size just a little bit. Now to activate the brush, you simply wanna tap and hold. And when you do that, it will activate this little preview monitor right here, which will give you a kind of a zoomed in look at what you're basically removing from the video. You wanna go ahead and just paint the entire area here and then once you have everything painted simply let it go and it will select your object right there all in red and begin processing and removing your background now in case you went over the edges a little bit in your brush you can click on the white button right here and then with the same technique you want to tap and hold but this time you want to click into the background area tap and hold to activate and then you can just simply trim out any background video part that you didn't want to include and then let go and that wipe will be applied to your cutout and begin processing and so once it's done processing simply click the check mark button and you can see right there that the cutout was successful and now we're on a blurry background and those exact results without the manual work of going there and doing this yourself you can use the quick brush option here. However, that's only included with a CapCut Pro account. I am a CapCut Pro member. So, so let me go ahead and show you how quick and accurate it is using the quick brush option. You simply tap onto the image, draw a line through it like this and let go. And you can see right there, it selects everything in the image just the way you want it. And so now the quick brush cutout has been applied. Let's click the check mark here. And as we scrub through the footage here, you can see that the subject has been cleanly cut out and leaving our blurred background behind us, helping us achieve that blurry background look. And again, this process can really be adapted for anything. You can see this handheld shot right here where I painted this camera and this stool that it's sitting on with the brush. And once that effect is applied, you can see now we have a very nice soft background for our B-roll footage. I even went as far as testing this blur effect on moving objects. This clip right here of me cruising by the camera in its raw form and adding the blur effect to this clip, you can see it adds a very shallow depth of field look to the image 
bringing more focus to the subject and frame. But overall, I definitely recommend using the customized cutout effect with the brush tool, rather than relying on the remove background option. If you have any questions about this process or have any trouble with it, feel free to leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe for more great content with CapCut.